We're down here by the old cabin today. up a little bit. It's a beautiful day. We're just on the west side of the valley there. So I have Ella, I have Vana, and I have Vida. These are all my beauty queens here, boy. Rock solid beauty queens. So these are some phenomenal dogs. This is a Norwegian elk hound. This is a Swedish elk hound. That's a Norwegian elk hound. And it's a wonderful day out today. It's a great hike we're having. We're taking it easy. Vaughn is a uh, bread, I'm pretty sure. I'll see Belly right away if I don't already. It kind of looks like it, so we're not going very fast. We're staying in the shade by the water. And this is just a lovely day to hike. It's uh, May 1st, 2021. And it's a lovely day out. So, very special to be up here today. Got my girls with me. They're such nice dogs to hike with. Beautiful dogs. So this is a trail. This is the this is the lower part of the rim trail. Rim trail goes above us. And we were hiking the rim trail. And then we make our way down over there. Come down to the old cabin and come down in here. And I was just, I was thinking, well, we'll stop in here. The girls are needing a little, they'd like to stop. They're, uh, they make a lot of miles. And it's good for me. They could keep going, but I like to stop. But we'll say it's them. They all think I'm an uh, Olympic athlete. <laughs> That's right. uh, I can catch a lame horse in four feet of snow and it only has to be lame in three legs. <laughs> so these dogs are good, boy. This is some good dogs. These are really good dogs. It's a very special dog, this dog right here because this is the first dog I've had, the first pup, like that litter, was the first litter where I raised both sides. So very cool as a preservation breeder to have two sets of uh, ancient lines to have a my own line. Now the pup coming out of here is a fifth generation pup and it's out of the second line so Leda and Sage and Willow they all have fifth generation dogs but that's all the same lineage this is the other side now coming up I have fifth generation pups coming from the other side so very very cool for me as a breeder. It's a big deal for me. Um, for lots of people, maybe it's no big deal, but it 
it's a big deal for me. If you want to have an idea what what uh, five generations is kind of similar to, just think five thousand sleeps, or think putting your kids all the way through grade school, four years of university, and a year in a career. That'll be kind of those kinds of things are kind of the same. So, pretty big deal for me. And preservation breeding on all the genetics, not just any dogs, very, very good dogs. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There was water right up top, so we stopped and drank up there. And it goes underground, it comes out here somewhere, but I haven't found it. It's got to be a little bit below me yet. But uh, we got a drink up there anyway, so it was okay. Now it's May 2nd tomorrow, so today's May 1st, May Day. So tomorrow, May 2nd. So big day tomorrow too. Tomorrow's 10 year anniversary when they said they got that. Uh, I can't remember his name now, but you take uh, Obama and Biden and combine them, you get his name mirrored a little bit. Tim Osman, no, um, Osama, Osama bin Laden. Ten years since they said uh, they got him. And the SEAL team was, was shot down on some leaked intel, I think, that got him. But I think one of them guys, um, I can't remember his name now. But, but anyway, 10 year anniversary tomorrow for that. So, I'm betting he's probably gonna show up alive tomorrow, hid out by the deep state. Probably. Robbie wasn't dead. But we'll find out tomorrow. Or in the coming days anyway. It's a crazy time out there. I, uh, I don't have TV, I don't have radio, so I don't get much intel. Just little pieces here and there. I'm kind of isolated up here on the mountains. Just hike with the dogs, we try and stay out of the way. I know there's some stuff going on and I'd like to help more but not sure what to do. Too old to go in the tunnels so I'll just kind of hang out of the way. I think they got the tunnels cleaned out anyway so I'll just hike up here. But. Uh, if you want to get out and get away from it all, boy, you get a good dog like this, boy, you can go hiking and just have a lovely life and leave all the misery behind, let me tell you. You can relax up here, the air is fresh, beautiful up here. These dogs, they monitor everything, they watch everything. Big cats, bears, doesn't matter, they look after it all. Check it all. Yeah. They're not sleeping, boy. They're a wide awake this group. These are loyal dogs to a fault, boy. Tell you what, this is a very, very serious crew of dogs. And these are prime, pure examples of the absolute best of the breeds, too, boy. You couldn't find better examples than these dogs. Look at the hips on these females. Unbelievable. I mean, just wow. These are amazing dogs. Yeah. The natures of this, these, these ones here are almost identical. They're almost identical. So depending on the 
the Swedish dog you get it's you can't you couldn't there's no discernible difference in these two they're almost identical yeah beautiful dogs both full hunting lines pure hunt lines so both hunt and both protect both hike yeah very very personable dogs absolute handler focus I sat with both of I sat with all of these dogs when they were born. I hiked with all these dogs in the belly of their mother, so they all knew me right from conception, of course. So it was, uh, it's not hard to understand how I get these bonds with these dogs. But you got to be able to bond in order to train. And so bonding is the most important part of training. And that's where uh, in critical situations, in very high, high intensity situations, the bond is what allows the dog to focus, not the training, it's the bond in really high intensity situations. And you gotta have you, in in a lot of cases you gotta do I I've talked about it before, but you gotta do what's called your banshee training. And you gotta do that all the time, right from a little guy all the way up. And banshee is what you turn into in a in an absolute nightmare situation. And so you'll literally holler, like scream out, because it, it catches you off guard or whatever, and if they haven't heard it, then they don't know what you're doing, but if they've heard it before and you trained them on it, then it works. I had, uh, I've, I've had to use the Banshee call a few times, and uh, life or death situations really. Train your banshee voice, and the easiest way is to get an open meadow like this and get a long lead, 50 footer, and then haul her out to get him to come. And as soon as he's uh, done it about 25 times, he'll no issue at all. He'll just fly right over to you. Doesn't matter if you call him in a whisper or a, a scream. Should have, should have a banshee command on hand, and they should all know it because you don't want to scare them and make them run off. Just focus. Not like these guys are going to lose focus. all my dogs to focus on the handler, focus on me. When I stop, they should just do what they're doing. <laughs> Isn't that right, you guys? Isn't that right? <laughs> ah, this is good. Yeah, you train your dog to, to really pay attention to the handler, and you got her made. Then you can train anything else. But it pays to have the right lines. That helps a lot. And so this this lineage is, is world renowned right here, which is Vaughn, the same as Vaughn. Vida or uh, Ela is, is slightly different, but very, very good. Um, a pure hunt line like this has been working with the handlers for centuries. And this, this is the Satu and her famous kennel coming down, and Aussie's famous kennel coming down, both from Finland, working kennels up in the northern Karelian district. So they're very, very, they're master breeders, those guys. That's where this dog comes, hails from. Like, it was born here in Canada, but 
the two parents. This is a Rico daughter. Russ and Beth have Rico, and this is an Anya daughter. Rico and Anya daughter. Absolutely stunning daughter. So yeah, we're having a good hike today, boy. Good to get out of the lower level and get up high. It's a little cooler up here, and uh, it's 16 degrees down below. So it's uh, it's a little cooler here and a little nicer for us to hike. Vonna has to blow her coat yet. She hasn't blown that coat. Vada. Vonna. Vada. That's my girl. That's my beautiful girl. These is your girls are good. Wow. You guys are rock stars. <laughs> so for some reason Ayla didn't catch. I had bred her to Paso, but she didn't catch. So she wasn't quite ready or just didn't feel like it. I'm not sure. So we'll just try her again. It's totally fine. I have her sister, Rhea, with seven pups at home. Beautiful dogs. Oh, my God. I'll try and get a video of them tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a fun day today, boy, to get these girls up here. And uh, we'll be hiking all day today. I'll take another crew out tonight. So I'll take a pretty good crew tonight. But I'm not going too high. I'm going to stay down on the bear trail. So it'll be all right. But yeah, you get a hiking dog out of these lines. Wow. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. You girls are good, boy. You girls are good. You girls are good. So yeah, we'll get back hiking. I'm going to take them back up to the water, and then I'll have my lunch up there. So we'll take them up there. So today is a pretty big day. I think we're going to see a lot of neat things going on in May. I really do. And uh, I think it's all good. Everything's good. So for us, it's a big, uh, a big time anyway. We got litter on the ground. We got two litters coming. Got a lot of hiking to do. I got some pens to build. I had a few things to do. All right, girls, let's get hustling. Let's get hustling, eh? That'll be a good video, I'll betcha. Let's see. Let's see, girls. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 